Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for yet another one of these video visitations. Today I'm honored to be uh, joined here before the fireplace with uh, the man who styles himself the eye candy for uh, this week's video visitation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know the women in the parish are swooning at this very moment just to see you here with the old fat bald guy. So good of you to join us, Alejandro. Yeah, I mean, you're welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, um, the uh, agenda is uh, simple for this installment, though it is important. The uh, diocese and uh, the city and issued uh, different and to a, a great degree diminished COVID requirements. And so uh, this weekend you'll notice that uh, that doggone old painter's tape is gone. So uh, we don't need to uh, uh, practice obligatory social distancing anymore but um, it's a good idea, of course, I think, to continue to, to, to uh, be mindful of uh, how proximate you are to people. With the um, uh, tape being taken away, the uh, registration requirements for mass are also going away too. They're gone, right? El Gano. El Gano. El Gano. Don't have to call up and make reservations anymore. And so, you know, we can just take as many people at church as are willing to come. Um, let's see, I think that's everything for this weekend, isn't it? No, no, the server's gonna be a little bit different. This, this, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. This, the server's gonna be a little bit different. The, the let us pray and the, and the acolyte hustles up the missile, that will happen again and the hand washing, I think, will happen again at the altar. Um, in terms of protocols, though, the imperative thing, according to the city, is that everyone stay masked. So the tape will go, obligatory social distancing will go, the reservation system will go, therefore contact tracing will go, but the mask, the good old mask that we've all come to enjoy so much, will uh, fortunately be around for, uh, for the time being. And, and we all have to keep wearing those. You know, at some parishes, that's been a real problem. Other pastors have told me that their people give them a real fight about it. We have not had that here. People have been very uh, uh, compliant that way. I, I appreciate that a lot. Well, it's important also to say that uh, there'll be other changes in coming weeks. Um, we're thinking, right, Alejandro, of bringing the, the, the uh, hymnals back next weekend? Yeah, next weekend, maybe, possibly next weekend. I think there's a, maybe more conversation. I think, I think the thought is, uh, you know, we haven't been singing this whole time during COVID, and for many of you, um, you know, for many of you have missed that, and for sure I can speak for myself, I've missed that. I think. Father Brad, you, you can echo that. Um, that's been lacking, obviously. I mean, it's been missed, for sure. And, um, you know, we've taken stock of what other parishes and their dioceses have been doing, and uh, a vast majority have returned to singing. Of course, returning to singing, we'd still be singing with masks. And, um, you know, uh, it might be a little different singing in masks, at least initially. Um, I've grown accustomed to it in the last seven months I, just out of necessity. So um, I'm not sure how much longer we'd be singing with masks, but um, we'd probably bring back singing probably the same time the hymnals come back. So whether it's next week or maybe a couple weeks after that, um, we'd probably do that all at the same time. You know, you've noticed the choir has been providing a lot of the singing or the cantor. And so we'd get back to the point where we're singing the response soil psalm, where we're able to respond, not just speaking or not just listening, but able to sing the response soil psalm. The Alleluia, being able to echo the Alleluia. The same thing with the, uh, the Eucharistic prayer acclamations, holy, holy, holy. Instead of reciting those, we'd, we'd get back to singing those, um, singing an entrance hymn, and even singing a recessional hymn, ascending hymn which we haven't been doing. George Hans has been doing a great job with our recessional music, but 
we'd get to the point where we would return that uh, sending him. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Um, yeah, I think I think it's really close that we'll be starting that. We'll just we'll probably uh, confirm that date in the next week or so. And there's still other things that eventually will need to change, but I don't know that that's going to happen so fast, like the preparation of gifts, procession, uh, certainly communion under both species. That's, a, that's something that I look forward to coming back, but it's, it's not going to be for a while. All right. Uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if you guys have some questions about it. When you see me around here, just ask, and I'll do my best to answer whatever, whatever your, uh, your question is. Well, can you guys think of anything else we need to talk about today? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The diocese, as you know, suspended the canonical obligation to attend Mass every week, way back when the pandemic first started. I guess it was March of 2020. The bishop, I think, is going to lift that uh, dispensation the first week of June, June 6th, I think. Uh, the uh, canonical obligation for Mass attendance is coming back. Of course, you know, what is an obligation to attend Mass? Uh, we, it, is a, it is a fond ecclesiastical hope that you will come back to Mass at least by the first weekend of June. How's that? All right. I could, I could see a question, are we still going to live stream even after that dispensation has been lifted? And the answer would be yes, we'll still live stream. We recognize there are circumstances, right? Uh, those who are um, not physically able to be here at liturgy. Um, yes, sir. That's just one example, but, but there is a need, so we would continue that. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think that's one of the maybe few bright spots to come out of all these pro, uh, COVID protocols. The live streaming, I think, we're, is going to be with us for a, a long, long time. Maybe forever. Perhaps forever, yes, perhaps forever. One thing's for sure, though, I will not be with us forever. <laughs> so, uh, some days that's not a bad thought. <laughs> All right. I think well, I bring the worst out in you. Are you just. No, sir. You, 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 you are the, the eye candy and the ear candy of, of, this, of this installment. So, it's well, been a pleasure to be with I you. I do what I can. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to do a duet. He's going to get the banjo out, oh. and he's going to teach me that, uh, what do you call that singing? You mean the good stuff? That's not what I was going to say, but you know, the singing you think is really good. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's going to teach me how to make those sounds, and then we're going to do a duet together. You're a bright young man, but I don't know if you have it in you. I might not. We all have our gifts. Amen. Amen. But I'm willing to try, I'm willing to learn, and I'm willing to appreciate. I admire your courage. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, um, we have to move on to other things now. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.